Hey everyone, I'm Fred Tolan with Invisio, and this is another in a series of online videos that will spotlight our tactical communications and hearing protection products, as well as provide tips and tricks for the users. In this episode, we'll be covering our newest in-ear solution, the X7 headset. Now, if you've ever attended one of my new equipment training sessions, you'll know I'm a big fan of Invisio's X5 headset. If you've never heard of it, it was also one of the first videos I ever did for this YouTube channel. There was just a lot to really love about that headset. Hearing protection? Market leading. Situational awareness? Superior. It's something you have to experience to understand how good it really is. Versatility? Unmatched. The ability to remove your helmet without losing comms, or throw on a gas mask for a hasty operation and not lose any time getting up on your radio, on top of not worrying about losing your seal when you bring up your rifle for a solid cheek weld, amazing. We've taken all those great features and we've improved upon them. So let's get into it and take a look at the X7 headset. At first glance, the X7 looks pretty similar to the X5 with some exceptions. The actual housing of the headset is a little smaller as you can see. More importantly though, it's more ergonomically shaped, making it much more comfortable and easier to fit. It's also lighter than the X5, coming in at only 47 grams. We've also removed the cable retainer, which was the plastic sleeve that wrapped around the user's ears, and replaced it with a much more comfortable integrated ear hook. This new ear hook could be manipulated to fit exactly how you need it to. The loudspeaker nozzle is also a little different, as it's no longer threaded, which we'll talk about later. The hear-through mics on the side of the headset have been upgraded for better performance and a lower noise floor, the result being you'll have a better rendering of high-frequency noise with lower constant background noise, and you'll still have the best situational awareness on the market. The foam windshields are also a little smaller and have been slightly recessed into the earpiece housing, protecting them more and minimizing the risk of them coming off in all environments. Something that might not be as easily noticeable, we've shortened the cable length from 1200 millimeters to 900 millimeters. This decision was made after careful consideration of user feedback, along with angling the headset connector to make the overall footprint on the chest smaller. This will make cable routing much tighter and cleaner. We still have the clip on the cable to connect it to Molly and other surfaces, as well as the cable adjustment slider, so you can always find that position that allows you to move your head in all directions without pulling or snagging. Most importantly, in my personal opinion, you may notice that the X7 doesn't have that bone conduction mic, which was the little bladder that lived on the right earpiece of the X5. That's because the X7 uses a different type of bone conduction technology, which is referred to as a voice pickup sensor or VPU, as I'll call it from here on out. With the traditional BCM, you were only picking up vibrations from a single point within the ear canal. With the VPU, however, it's picking up vibrations from the entire area where the ear tip and earpiece make contact. This new VPU will make the X7 much easier and comfortable to don, as you're not gonna have to find that perfect BCM position to get the clearest comms. So to recap that, fast and easy fitting, check. Increased comfort, Check. Robust and reliable transmissions? Check. Moving on, let's talk about the different wearing options for the X7. With the X5, you were able to pick from three different sizes of soft springs, short, medium, and long. Having the right size was important because it provided some forward tension on the bone conduction microphone, which helped with clear comms. Swapping these out was pretty simple, but it was possible for them to slip out, leaving you needing a replacement. Well, with the X7, there are only two sizes, and they're not gonna unintentionally come off your headset, and this is done in a really clever way. Instead of having a swappable soft spring, we've got a swappable silicone sleeve with a fixed Invisio ear wing on it. The sleeve goes over the housing of the headset, keeping it snug and making it more comfortable because you don't have hard plastic sitting in your ear. Instead, you've got a nice silicone cushion that also protects the earpiece from wear and tear. There are a few sleeves you can choose from. Two of them have different size ear wings, and then we have one without them, if you'd rather not have one at all. We do, however, recommend the ear wing as it will provide a more secure fit of the headset. Swapping them out is easy. You just need to make sure you have the correct side, whether it's right or left, which we've made it very easy for you as we've engraved an R or L on the respective sleeves. If we look at the sleeve, it's got a large hole and a small hole. Now the large hole will fit around the whole earpiece housing and the small hole will go around the loudspeaker. So let's go ahead and put on the right sleeve on the right earpiece. 
Now, I just want to put the loudspeaker through both of the holes and pull the silicone sleeve around the X7 like this. Make sure it's nice and flush with the edges of your earpiece and you're good to go. Now that we've covered the sleeves, let's talk about the all new ear tip options. Much like the X5, our foam tips come in three different diameters and two lengths for a total of six different sizes. However, we also have tri-flinged ear tips made with soft, durable, hypoallergenic polymer. These also come in three different sizes. And one of the things I'm most excited about with this new headset is the Invisio Custom Fit. You can get custom molds of your ears, which will then wrap around your X7 earpieces, making your headset a perfect fit. I just really think this is an awesome feature that really individualizes it for the user. So you can get an idea of what that looks like. I've got a version of one right here. Now this one is black, but it will also come in beige. Looking closely, you can see it has red lettering on it. Just like with the X5, red means right and blue means left. So since this has red lettering, it's for the right earpiece. Just need to orient it so the loudspeaker and the custom fit mold are lined up and then push the earpiece into the custom fit until it's nice and flush, just like with the silicone sleeves. Basically, we've got a lot of options to help you fit your specific mission needs and requirements while also making the actual wearing of the headset as comfortable as possible, especially during prolonged use. One of the changes we've made to our hearing protection tips is the inclusion of a snap-on feature. Previously, the foam tips were threaded but now they actually snap onto the loudspeaker, making it much more secure and requiring a higher pull force to detach it. You just need to line up the loudspeaker with the tip and apply some pressure to ensure it locks on. Don't be afraid to give it a little extra push, and I find it easiest to do this if I squeeze both sides of the tip as I apply pressure, like this. I also like to give it a little tug to make sure it's seated. To take it off, just grab the base of the tip you're using with one hand, the earpiece with another, and use a little pull force to remove it, and that's all there is to it. With the foam tips, if they get compressed down when you're putting them on or taking them off, there's nothing to worry about. They'll return back to their normal shape, and just like our previous tips, they are body heat activated, so they'll do so even faster inside your ear canal. Since I've got the tips on here now, and my sleeves with the ear wings are already on there, this is a good time to go over how to don the X7 headset. For my purposes, and since I don't have the headset routed through my kit, I'm just gonna wrap the whole thing around my neck. The first thing I wanna do is find the appropriate earpiece. We'll start with the right one. Now I wanna make sure I compress the foam tip. If you're using the tri-flange tips or the custom fit, you can skip this step, but if you're using a foam tip, this is an important step and should not be skipped. So I'm compressing the full length of the tip. We don't want a cone shape, we want it compressed all the way down to the base. Within five seconds or so, I'm gonna to wanna to insert it into my ear. To make sure it gets deep, I'm gonna to wanna to pull up and back on my ear with the other hand. This will actually open up the ear canal. And once it's in there, I wanna just go ahead and let that foam expand. The ear wing is gonna fit under this little ridge in the ear. And then the ear hook is gonna go around the back of the ear, like so. As I mentioned earlier, these tips are body heat activated. So once in the ear, the foam will expand back to its original shape, creating a seal in the ear canal. If you're using the tri-flange tips or the custom fit, they'll be set as soon as they're in your ear canal. After it's done, make sure you adjust your cable adjustment slider so you can move your head in all directions without it tugging on the headset and you're good to go. Depending on the environment you're in, it can take up to 90 seconds for the foam to fully expand. So make sure you have a good seal before any exposure to loud noise. Let's finish off with care and maintenance. No big surprises here, you just need to wipe it down. I prefer to use a moist and lint-free cloth, or if it's really dirty, this headset is two meter submersible, so you can submerge it in water and agitate it, or run it under a faucet to get any excess debris off. Just don't use high pressure water and don't aim it directly into the loudspeaker. Then let it dry and you'll be ready for your next mission. If you want to dry it even more quickly, you can use can air, just don't use an air compressor as that could damage your headset. It's always a good idea to store your headset in a dry ventilated area, preferably protected without any excess weight on it. And that will do it for this video covering the X7, a headset that redefines the usability of tactical in-ear headsets 
by perfecting ease of use, comfort, and performance. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our website. And thank you for watching.